everyone. So happy to see you all again. I am here today to make another video for you to help you on your breastfeeding journey. I wanted to tell you that I'm sad, but my Hakka pump did not arrive in time for the recording of this video. Um, I know, I'm just as sad as you are, but they say in the next day or two. So hopefully for the next recording session, I will have Hakka pump in hand and we'll be able to record that video for you. Today's topic is going to be all about the handling and storage of breast milk and how to safely do so for your baby. So stay tuned to this video where you're gonna learn all the tips and tricks for the best ways to store your breast milk, quantities to store it in, how to thaw the milk once it's frozen, and how long it's safe to keep milk at various temperatures. My name is Cassie Reyes. I'm a registered nurse, international board certified lactation consultant, and I'm one of the co-founders of People's Lactation. Our goal is to bring you the best and most evidence-based information about breastfeeding and make it readily available to you on our channel. So make sure you hit the like button down below, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell so that you're notified every week when we post a new video. There'll be a new video posted every Tuesday evening. All right, the first thing we're gonna cover is the four, four, six rule how many hours we can store milk at room temperature versus the refrigerator versus the freezer. So stay tuned for all that juicy information. Number one, room temperature. Uh, room temperature, breast milk can stay out for about four hours. So that means if you're out and about shopping or at work and you know that you're going to be near a fridge within the next four hours, it's okay to leave the breast milk at room temperature just as long as you make sure that you get it into the fridge before that four hours is up. Number two, in the refrigerator. In the refrigerator, you can store your breast milk for up to four days. So if you're not gonna use it within the four days, go ahead and pop it in the freezer. You can combine milk from various pumps in the same day or even from other days, as long as it hasn't been in the fridge for more than four days. You wanna make sure that you Cool the new milk first in the refrigerator before adding warm milk to cold milk and to avoid bringing up the temperature of the previously cooled milk. Number three, in the freezer. So in the freezer, milk is good to be stored for up to six months. And that would be in a freezer that is separate from the refrigerator, so one that has a separate door. In a deep freezer for up to 12 months. The guidelines that I'm going to give you in this video are for a healthy full-term baby. If your baby is preterm or in the NICU, you would want to check with the NICU staff at the hospital to find out what their guidelines are for milk storage. Usually the guidelines are a little bit more strict for these infants. Isn't this cup hilarious? It was given to me by my coworker who is a fabulous NICU lactation consultant. Hopefully we'll be able to bring her on here and do a little video for us about breastfeeding for NICU babies. So to thaw milk that has been previously frozen, there are two ways to do this. You can run it under a little bit of warm water. The other option is take out what you think you're gonna use the following day and put it in the refrigerator. It can take up to 12 hours for this milk to thaw, so go ahead and pop it down into the refrigerator the night before you think you're gonna use it. Once milk has been unfrozen and has been sitting in the refrigerator, you wanna make sure that you use it within 24 hours, and once milk is thawed, you don't want to refreeze it. If you want to warm some milk that's been in the refrigerator, you never ever want to microwave breast milk. It can create hot spots that may burn your baby's mouth. So what you wanna do is create a warm water bath. Just below a boil is best, and then you can swirl the bottle or the bag of stored milk in this water bath to warm the milk. The milk should be comfortable to touch on the back of your hand. Another option is a bottle warmer, which is specifically made for warming milk. 
During milk storage, the cream tends to rise to the top. You wanna swirl the milk in the bottle to mix it. You don't have to shake it vigorously, just a little swirl to mix the fatty milk in with the rest of the milk and offer it to baby. To avoid wasting milk once it's been frozen by taking out more than you need, some tips for quantities that are best for storing milk. You wanna do different and varying quantities from one to four ounces. That way you can just take down what your baby is gonna need for the next day. If your child's going to a daycare or a babysitter, make sure that you not only put the date on the package, but also include your child's name on the bag or bottle that the milk was frozen in. So that's it. In summary, there's a four, four, six rule. Four hours out of the fridge, four days in the fridge, and six months in the freezer. Remember these guidelines are for a full term, healthy infant, and you would wanna check for more specific guidelines if your baby is premature or in the NICU. Always gotta have my coffee. Yes, I know it is actually 6 p.m. right now when I'm recording this. It is my second cup of coffee for the day. Mm. And yes, you can drink coffee when you're breastfeeding. Just in case you were wondering, you're welcome. Leave me a comment down below. I'm happy and always thrilled to see what you guys found useful in the video, what else I can cover for you. If you like this video and wanna see more like it, please give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and share our videos with any families who you think would benefit from this information. Thank you.